Hello guys, welcome back to episode 17 of the Birmingham City Save with me Alex and today we're going to get straight back into the action this is another FA Cup video. We've got Everton coming up in this episode. As we saw last time we drew them in the FA Cup, FA Cup. Yeah, in the FA Cup. In the round of, it's not even the round of, it's the quarterfinal. I really need to get back into this. Let's see. Let me read off the screen where we've got up to since last time. So the FA Cup quarterfinal against Everton away from home. What's happened since last time? We'll just quickly update you. So, Newcastle would beat them 1-0. Sydney Van Hoy donk with the goal in there. Great bit of action in that game. And honestly, I can't believe we came out on top. QPR, Chris Willock getting the goal for them. But J Van Hoy donk, James, Jordan James and George Hall getting one in the 91st minute, scoring them. Then we played Blackburn where Luka Topovic got three. Three goals in this game, a hat-trick. I think it's his second hat-trick of the year. I'll have to double-check that one. I don't think it is, but he's scored many braces before, but a hat-trick for him. Brilliant result for us there. 3-1. Marquinhos, the, I think he's on loan from Arsenal, is he? Yeah, on loan from Arsenal, doing the business for them. Five goals for him, seven assists. He's, he looks like a decent enough player anyway, but Luka Topovic, three goals. He's been on fire for us. Ten goals, six assists in the league. Overall, 12 goals, seven assists in 33 games for the 18-year-old, now 19 He's turned 19, just gone in February, but he looks a phenomenal player. A really, really good player. I can't believe he's only worth the 16 to 18 million there. That, that's ridiculous stuff. Because if you look at and compare him to some of the other players in the league, he's absolutely sensational. In his contract, to give him a new contract, 25k a year now, we've actually got it so that if he wants to leave, it's 30k domestic clubs in the higher division have to pay. Now, if we get promoted, that's the question. If we get promoted, 30 million is on the cards for us. But either way, today, we've got Everton away from home. Juracek is suspended. I've seen him, actually, in the, for the Czech Republic. He scored two goals in the international friendly. Looks like a pretty nice player. I've watched, I've watched the game. i watched a few of the highlights because I was interested in him. He looks pretty good, I've got to admit. I know they were playing Malta and they did have they go down to 10 men, but for a wing-back, he looks pretty decent. I mean, I, I, I would be surprised if we don't see him come to a Premier League squad side or something like that in the future. Everton today, we've seen Tottenham knock out Nottingham Forest today. Away from home, I've been thinking about how I'm going to play this game and I've gotten a bit of an idea of how I want to do it. So Peacock Farrell in there, he's been playing pretty well lately. He is our, well, I think he's going to be our like cup goalkeeper for now. Rule Walters in there with Thomas Araujo, Kwanzaa and Buchanan. Pike Sung Ho in there for Fuller Run Show and John James. Amari Hutchinson in there with Luka Topovic and then Van Hoydok. Now the reason for that is I believe... Where is he now? Oh, no, Roberto Lopez is actually fit. This could be the play. Amari Hutchinson out. Let's bring in Roberto Lopez because he's been he's a lot of more output than Amari Hutchinson, as you can see here. Other than that, George Hall on the bench, Pizignac on the bench. Amari Hutchinson can come off. Peter Atibo's back fit. So I'll put Jamal Lowe onto the bench because I want Peter Atibo just in case so we can try and close out the game. But that's how we're going to play it. Now, we're going to go balanced. I want to just feel out the first half. I want to see how, we're, how they set up Everton because I'll be very intrigued to see how they actually set up. They're probably going for the FA Cup glory on this, so I assume it's going to be a full-strength side, which it is. We've got Pickford in there, Selic, Tarkowski, Branthwaite, Michaelenko, Onana and Gay, Matthias Pereira on the... Ah, Matthias Pereira on the right wing. Interesting. Dramanil on the left. Four nails through the middle, which could be a bit of an exploit, but I know he's very good technically, and Calvert-Lewin in as the striker. They've got a pretty good bench, to be fair, but... I reckon we could give him a run for the money. I reckon we could. We're going to pump up the fists. I expect nothing but a win from this game. And let's tell the lads that I trust all of them. Because I do. I, I actually have faith that we can do something from this game. So we're going to get straight into the action here. Everton in the last five games. Two losses, two wins and a draw. Not fantastic, but you know, they can always turn up whenever they want. And then for us... Three wins, one draw, and one loss. We've been actually in really good form of late. Everton, not so much. So let's try and keep this winning streak alive. We beat Newcastle last time, but that was at home. We're away from home today. Let's just check up what the assistant has done to the opposition. Dwight McNeil, we want to tightly mark him and tackle him hard. Uh, sorry, Calvert-Lewin. Dwight McNeil, we want to push him and point him onto his weaker foot. That's for sure. Pablo Fornals, pressure him. Matthias Pereira, pressure him as well. Michael Enko, I want to pressure him because I know he's got good delivery. And I know now we can just tackle him hard and point him onto his weak foot because he's not actually going to be better on his weaker foot than he is on his strong. Michael Enko into Dwight McNeil now. Let's see how we can fare. I know Branthwaite's a brilliant man in the, uh, FM. He's, he's really strong, really good. We've actually won the ball back in midfield here now. Buchanan, right, here we go. This is where the possession football comes into play. Kwanzaa, can we be a bit direct though? Buchanan, can he find a whip into the box? He can't. He might actually. He might. Will he? No, he doesn't. Jordan James, he finds though. Who's been tackled? And Onana, straight from the off, that was definitely inside the box. If you're asking me, three minutes in, we could see Onana not get sent off, but give away a penalty. There's going to be a penalty review, and it's a penalty. 
Three minutes in, we've got a penalty. Who's standing over it? Is it Topovic? It is. Thank goodness for that. Topovic, come on, son. Carry on your, your form. Carry it on. He puts it in that top right-hand corner. Sends Jordan Pickford the wrong way. 13th goal of the season for Topovic. And that puts us 1-0 up within the space of five minutes. We're going to stay balanced. We're going to feel out the half. But I think so far, we've been playing pretty well. And we're five minutes in. We've, we've had the majority of the possession. We've been playing pretty well. And that, that just puts us in good stead, that penalty. It means Everton need to push out. And if we keep it balanced, you know, make sure that we cover our defensive side, but also push forward. I'm very happy. Let's encourage the lads. Let's keep going. But what a first few minutes there. That has really put us on the front foot. 23 minutes in now. There is a um, throw in and it's a poor pass. It's a really poor pass. Calvert-Lewin has chipped the goalkeeper in all oh my life. A an error. And we've been punished for that error massively. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's happened here though. So Quanta gets the ball, turns around, passes it to his man. Araujo just misses the ball. Calvert-Lewin with an Absolutely unbelievable chip. That That is one from the top draw. I can't, that is unbelievable. Calvert-Lewin with a chip there. How has he done that? I mean, Calvert-Lewin in real life, I mean, I'd be questioning him at the moment, but how has he done that? It's unbelievable. There's, there's, ah, here we go, a highlight. Buchanan in, in acres of space on this left-hand side. Can he take on, I believe, who's playing right back for them? I think it might be Nathan Ferguson. I can't remember. For the run show. So Pike Sung-Ho, can he hit one from range? He's going to have a go. He has a go and he puts it to the back of the net. It's 2-1. No one pushes out to him. No one goes to pressure the man. No one marks him. Nothing. He just has acres of room. For the run show, plays it out towards him. He, no one closes him down. I think Gay's a bit late to him. He knocks it round him. He has a shot, and I think it comes off Pickford, comes off Toplovich maybe a little bit as well. But what a strike by Pike Sung Ho there. And he puts it into the back of the net, and he puts us 2-1 up against Everton. I'm going to praise the lads, because we've been having an absolute brilliant first half. We've on 1xG, which I know because of the goal, uh, the penalty itself is 0.8. But Pereira whips one in towards the back post. It's the only thing that I'm scared of. In the air, they're going to be absolutely unbelievable. Diamond Hill lets it run. Pereira, he's got acres of space. No one closes him down. I've told them to close him down. No one's there and it's two all. Pereira on the brink of half time closes him down. Uh, finds the opportunity to put it into the bottom corner and he takes it. Dwight McNeil with, I don't know if that's a purposeful meant leave, but Onana finds Pereira. Oh, he's nowhere in sight. Lee Buchanan. Van Hoydonk, where is Lee Buchanan? I don't even know. I know he's come from a corner, but nobody's marking the man. I think it's really poor. I think it's really poor. That Toplovich and who's that Quanta as well? Where is Buchanan? I don't even know where he is. He's not marking his man. He should be there on the left-hand side. But Everton find a way back in. Their defence has been terrible. But I think we should actually probably go for it now. We're controlling possession so far. I'm happy with how it's gone. I'm going to keep it balanced for now. But I reckon we could probably go for this if need be. I reckon we could genuinely probably go for it. I mean, we're going to bring on Amari Hutchinson in a minute. Playing that position. Toplovich wins the ball back brilliantly there we've got quite a physical side to be honest Quance is a massive man Araujo's huge Topovic is a is a strong man you know we've got Van Hoy dunk up front we're quite physical to be fair Robin Lopez a few little technical plays in there Pax on Ho as well beautiful little bit of interplay there playing it around them beautifully Jordan James look at this you think this is a Premier League side Pax on Ho takes it down into full run show Quance now can he find the ball out wide towards Ethan Laird Topovic as a go himself and he's just over the bar. But we'll make a few changes soon. I don't think Robert Lopez or Van Hoydonk have really had a big impact on this game. So I might have to take them off. As Pax Sung-Ho wins it back but loses it straight away. Michael Linko whips one in towards the back post. But Quance is there. Onana now. What can he do with it? He comes through. It's a brilliant save by Peacock Farrell. Brilliant save. Michael Linko. He's going to go forward now on the left-hand side. He's going to have a shot himself. And he goes over the bar. 56 minutes in. Do we make the changes now and then go for it? I think we might. As Fuller Run Show loses the ball. Buchanan on this left hand side. He's just not been playing brilliantly, has he? Fuller Run Show. Might have to find someone else to play out there. Pike Sung Ho. Brilliant ball out wide to Ethan Led. Whips it in. Van Hoy Donks there. Oh, my life. He should be finishing that. How has he not finished that? I think we're going to go positive. I think we're going to push this now. Let's fire up the boys. This might backfire on us, but I think we've had some of the better chances in this game. It's a beautiful ball to Calvert. Oh, my life. I'm, I'm just bemused. Where has that come from? Michael Enko plays, it's, that's Kevin De Bruyne-esque. Look at it, look at this. He cuts it through. It falls perfectly in the path of Calvert-Lewin. And yeah, that is an unbelievable goal. Let's really go for it. I've got a few more defensive-minded players in. 
but we're going to absolutely go for it. We're going to play more attacking. Let's see if we can win the ball back higher up the pitch, though. That's the question. As we do, Topovic punts it down the line. Devin Hines nowhere to be seen. There we go. Thomas Rajo with a great touch into Florian Show. Ethan Laird. We're playing the ball around perfectly still. It's just a shame we've not actually managed to get something from this game yet. Topovic, Jordan James, out to Walters, who's just come on. What can he do with it? Can he cross it in? He finds Hutchinson, and Amari Hutchinson, the substitute, has been an absolute tactical genius approach to this. That's why. That's why they've brought me in Birmingham, to do this sort of stuff. Jordan James plays it out wide to Walters, who's just come on. The substitute, bit of an inverted fullback type role, but goes down the line, pulls it back to Amari Hutchinson, who's there. Robert Lopez might have been dropping a bit deeper, but Amari Hutchinson has the drive, has the vision, and he's been there. He's, oh, that's a brilliant goal. Let's go and praise the lads, and let's try and get one more in there before full time. Can we? We don't. But look at that. We've absolutely dominated today. 64% possession. We're playing unbelievable football keep it up boys let's keep going and i think do we have one more substitution to make we do and that's the question who do i take off i don't want to take off topovic i know he's brilliant at penalties we need to start thinking about penalties at this point in time he's headed away can we maybe just get this away though it's hit the bar calvin lewin can we maybe get the ball away we can and thank god for that but whoa, we need to make it past extra time first of all Let's go back to positive we don't want to go attacking because we want to just see out the game now Paxson ho plays it forward nathan patterson cuts it out. Can he play it forward? He does. He finds Pablo Fornals into Nathan Patterson again. They're playing it in triangles down this left hand right hand side. Pereira, who's been a nuisance all game, finds Beto and Beto puts it in the back of the net. We're gonna have to go back to the attacking play that we've been playing all game. Jordan James not having a brilliant game out there. I might have to take him off. Peacock Ferrellos has an absolute stinker today. I think this is the this is the position that we need to sort out next season for sure as a goalkeeper. An absolute Bonafide goalkeeper is going to be brilliant for us. He's beaten there. He sh the defender should be doing better. He should be doing better. But for now, we do find ourselves down. Let's make a change here. Topovic looking really, really tired. But I'm going to have to bring off Jordan James and maybe bring in, I'm thinking, Atibo. I'm thinking of Tebow in this box-to-box -box midfielder role. That's what I'm feeling. Try and get forward. And Amari Hutchinson can then play a bit more further forward. Let's put Devin Hine in the advanced forward role. Let's try and get him going forwards as well. We'll play, try and play it wider. Hit the early crosses. Play a bit more direct. Uh, play the pass a bit shorter. Overlap on the left and right. That's the main one. Confirm the changes. Let's go for this now, lads. We're probably going to have to go ultra-attacking at some point. I'll go ultra-attacking for the whole of the second half. But come on, boys. We deserve this. Fire them up. 106th minute now. We're going into the extra time now. Second half. Let's go very attacking. Let's just absolutely all guns blazing now. All out attack. We've gone. We can do everything we can now. We've got five minutes to try and do whatever we can with it. Come on, boys. One more highlight. One more. Come on. One more highlight, please. Ah, oh, and that's going to be the end of the game. 4-3. And what a game. We've. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, we should have won that. We should have won that for sure. Just a, a poor error. A lapse in judgment on that one. You know, that was an unbelievable goal whipping by Michael Enko, but they should not have won that game. Everton don't deserve that one bit. And that is, that is honestly, that's actually really upset me because we've played so well. I think I think it's a shame. I think it's a real shame that we've gone out of that competition. But what it lets us do is focus in on the Skybet Championship. I'll probably bring you the game against Leicester because that'll be the biggest game of the season I can see so far. We've got Leicester away from home. If we win that, we go within... Four points of Leicester with a few games to go. Let's see how we do and how we fare out there. But thank you guys for watching. What an what an episode. What an episode. I thought our FA Cup run might might be there to last. A seven goal thriller though. I mean you can't complain about entertainment value, but the way we conceded them goals, Calvert Lewin's chip was just a poor, poor one to concede. Michael Enko's cross was unbelievable. A bit of a miscommunication defensively where Pereira puts it in the bottom left-hand corner. No one closing him down. And then the last goal where Beto puts it in the back of the net. It could have been anyone but Beto. I mean, that man doesn't... He, he's an absolutely unbelievable player on FM. But in real life, couldn't couldn't hit a barn door with a banjo let's just put it that way so yeah thank you guys for watching anyway i hope you did enjoy this video if you did as ever leave a like subscribe if you are new and i shall catch you in the next one where leicester await it's gonna be a good one thank you guys for watching stay safe and ciao